Hey guys, I got a little something special for you today. I am down here at Cox's Drive, Kentucky Lake. We are down here in the Mad Scientist Workshop, guys. You're gonna get a little peek inside this man's head. This is where the crappie hit the deck. You are not gonna be able to compete in tournament fishing without having some of his products on your boat. It just ain't gonna happen. I've got some of his products on my boat. Uh, love them, very durable. I just, I've been walking around, I've been looking at everything, and something caught my eye, and I'm just curious, what in the world this guy's gonna come out with next? We're here at his little work table. Garlic press. There is no telling what parts he's gonna take off of that, where he's gonna put them, but he has piqued my interest. Remember, if you have not liked and subscribed to the channel, please do so, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it, guys. Let's go find this dude, and let's find out what it is he's thinking. Hey, right, baby. <laughs> I think we've run into him here. We have got uh, Larue the shop dog. Larue the shop dog, He's right here, here every day, make sure things are going right. Mark, you doing all right, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you, Jeremy? Thanks uh, for coming in. Always love having everybody come by. Everybody's welcome to stop by and see what we do. It's always a pleasure. Man, I, I am just pleased to be here. I like seeing the new stuff coming out how it's being made. I got a soft spot, guys. I worked seven uh, years as a machinist before uh, we ever, Crappie Monster was ever even thought about. So this spot just kind of hits home for me. Uh, seeing all the stuff that this man comes up with, with his team here in the building, and which, like I showed you a second ago. Th this is no shade tree warrior right here. He has got uh, I'd hate to even think about how much all these uh, CNC and automated uh, equipment runs. We just had a fork truck come through here just a minute ago, uh, bringing parts in. We uh, got we got five Hawes CNC mills and one CNC lathe. And we, just, we just bought a brand new Hawes mill this year. That's our new super speed. That thing's wicked fast. We're able to do some things a little bit better. We're looking at some more tooling to do some other things faster. The inventories keep growing and we're wanting to be able to make them faster. I'll show you here in a little bit. We got a laser over in the corner where we're lasering in our engraving our logo or, or a customer's logo. We can do that too. Look out, guys. Be looking for some crappie monster tumblers. Yeah, we can do that. Beer mugs. Never Beer know. mugs. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Let's uh, take a look at everything. There's this, uh, the live suite coming together. Yeah, we got some that were, we come up with our own pedals. We're building our own pedals. We're machining all this ourselves. We got a cover that we machined to go on here. These are in the process of getting built. Those are all some that's, uh, we just got a few built ahead here, waiting on orders and have orders. We got stuff going out. Over here's kind of what I do my, some of my assembly, but this is where we're doing our thinking. We're working on, you know, we got the folding mount. The folding mount is a big, was a big hit at Branson. We're doing really good with that, but we're trying to get two units on. It's been a little bit difficult getting two units on. You asked about the garlic press. <laughs> Here we go. My Amazon order come in this morning. We're going to press some garlic at the house with it. That's what that's about. So. The last time I was in here, guys, he had his uh, propane griddle out making fajitas. Uh, today we're frying crappie. Today we're frying crappie. Now, what kind of workplace environment is that? One, There's one a thumbs up. One of the guys is a pretty good crappie fisherman, so he went out the other day on Barkley Lake, caught some big ones, and uh, we got a gallon bag of crappie we're going through for lunch today. So hopefully the animals will leave a little bit of it, but I highly doubt it. It'll probably be gone. Yep, yep. And we're, this is where we test our, each live sweep gets bench tested and make sure everything works, everything's the proper direction, the pedals work, the, the remote control works, everything works before it gets boxed. Each one, Every, every one, every time gets bench tested before it goes in a box. Man, that's awesome. Uh, a lot of companies uh, will not individually test. Uh, I know I, I test like uh, our outlaw net. Every single one that comes in, I test it myself before it ever hits yeah. well, uh, you, shipping. You know, you're the same as me. We want top quality stuff. I mean, you know, that's all there is. If we have an issue, we do everything we can and get it took care of. That's just part of it. 
Yeah. All of his stuff yeah. is made right here yeah. uh, in the U.S. He's even started putting that in with that uh, engraver he's got. Yeah, we got the laser here. We're going to get it fired up for you. We can laser engrave. Our Man, logo. That's a, that's so much better than them stickers. We, 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 oh yeah, and we're working with three pound fishing, so we're building a custom unit for him to put on his boat with his logo, and it'll have our logo on it. Man, that's cool. What 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 is this right here? That's that live that uh, wire puck I was showing you on the boat. You can run, drill a hole, run all your wires through it to go to two units, and this covers it. But you've got you've got a removable cap here, so you yep. can run all your wires and then put the cap on afterwards. Yes, it comes as a kit. Okay, okay. Comes there, you got so you know what you're getting. We got a grommet. There you so go. You can drill a hole, put the grommet in there to save your wires. That hole's big enough to get the live scope. Okay. The the connector through. We got two bolts here with lock nuts that goes in and bolts this C-shaped piece down to the deck or the, the dash or wherever you're putting it. Put your grommet in, the grommet fits inside here, run all your stuff. When you're all done, everything looks good the way you want it, you put the cap on. Now, how many uh, units can you run through that same hole? I'm running all the wirings for two units and the big heavy live scope transducer cable all in that one puck. Wow, boy, that's gonna consolidate it. Yeah, it makes it I know if you're like me, you've been out there and tripped over the wires to your units. This is going to consolidate them. That way you can uh, put a sock on them, tape them, whatever it is yeah. that you do do to keep that from happening and keep you in the boat and not in the water. We got inventory. We try to keep as much inventory on hand as we can. This is our old cable savers, different models. This is pieces and parts for cable savers as we, we build more, put them together, put them in the box. The live scope mount that goes on the trolling motor, that's all this stuff. We got our different, we got them all, everything's marked so we know what's what. We got one for a power drive here. We got all we got different. got Tarova, power drive. XI5. Ultra X, XI5. Uh, Garmin Force. The Garmin Force, the, yeah. that brand new Garmin Force, guys. Yeah. Uh, you got your hookup right here. Mm -hmm. Clamps for the live scope and lid. This is the lids for the live scope. Our pieces and parts go on here. We put them together, put them in a box, and they go on another shelf. We're actually getting ready to take the back room over here where I store my boat. I got to find a new place to put the boat. We're going to turn this all into shipping and receiving. We're going to fill it with shelving, and it'll be all finished parts ready to go. I saw that, and I just had to ask Mark, hey, what is this? I haven't seen this before. Uh, I want to show you this puck actually in use right here on mark's boat here's your uh, wire puck so we got there's the wire for your live scope and then here's all the wires for two units okay okay well, that's pretty we, slick well here we go we got one all rigged up here so this is our bracket we build we got we can rotate here you got adjustment up and down here you got adjustment up and down here the whole thing will rotate around this shaft so you can adjust it to fit whatever your needs are okay and then we got a coupling in here so that we can accommodate every trolling motor from 45 inch to 72 inch and then my theory too is on this we've changed this a little bit up we made it so that if you hit something you know you get fish in your stumps down south Hopefully we can just break this tube or bend it and we can replace just this tube for like 15 bucks instead of having the whole thing, the shaft bent. There you go guys, for uh, all you fishermen out there that when you go crappie fishing, you go to war with stump. We all, we're going to break stuff. Uh, it, it's just like, if you're not getting hung up, you ain't crappie fishing. If you ain't breaking stuff, you ain't crappie fishing in the right spots. Now, speaking of that going to war, I've got something I want to show you that make me feel like uh, I was looking at a, a saw, a, a saw machine gun. And it just, uh, everything about it looks so tactical. I've got to go over here and show it to you. Look at this setup on this trolling motor right here. That's uh, set up on the Minn Kota Ultrex. That's our, our live sweep setup for that. We have, same same thing. You got adjustment right here. This one we just put the short extension tube on it because it's on the show boat. Obviously, we don't want to hit the floor when we're at the show somewhere. 
but this this clamp here will rotate around here so they'll take the whole thing and move it around here to fit up and we can put this on either side of the trolling motor we can hook it up with your 360 we now have a stabilizer for the 360 because the new mega is a little heavy and it, it wants to shake so we're, we're we built that it's got a bushing in it goes around here well, that's pretty slick yeah. yeah that's a new item here just recently that's the stabilizer he's talking about yeah. And that's because when you go down the lake, a lot of times your 360 is going to do that number and possibly break. Right here is a stabilizer. I've heard stories on the uh, the mega that it's shaking enough that it can hit the shaft, and they're they're worried about damage to it because it hits something solid as you're going down the lake or the highway. You know how rough the roads can be. So we're trying to think that out. What have we got here? That's a 360 mount to go on a Tarova. Okay, that's so the 360, your, your 360 for the throw. or the Mega 360 slides up inside this tube, and then this tube allows everything to slide when the motor, you know how the motor shaft, yeah. how it slides through, it's locked down, but how it, how it slides through there, that's what this does. And then this has got a clamp to the trolling motor, so when the motor's turning, your 360's looking straight forward. We've been doing that one for probably three or four years. Okay. We had one for the Altera. But now that they come out with the Mega, the Mega weighs six pounds and the motor on the Altera doesn't want to lift that up. It'll lift up so far and stall out. So we don't build it for the Altera anymore, only the, the Tarova. Okay, okay. And this, this is for the guys with the Tarova and the Altera that's wanting to put, we can do either 360 or our live sweep, or we can got the clamps to put the 360 and the live sweep mounted over the side of the boat instead of mounted on the trolling motor. So this is this is a mock-up of it, so we can set it down here, you can put it down here low if you want. That's just a quick clamp there. You can take the whole thing out if you need to, put it in here, quick clamp. Now, you got this over the side of the boat and you're wanting to move, flip this, flip the one over here, turn this. Oh, nice, put it right up on your deck. Nothing sticking over the side of the boat. Yeah, Nothing we ain't got to worry about stumps. A trailer or to get caught on the dock or anything. Nothing. Swing this back out. Swing it around. That's all it takes to lock it. You can adjust the tension on this. We put a nut on the bottom, a lock nut. We can adjust the tension. I got some guys up north trolling walleye. We're going to let them run it, run it hard, but I can't hardly. I mean, I got to really pull on it to make a turn. Okay. I think that should work good with the live scope transducer in the water, but yet trolling at a pretty good rate. Well, yeah, yeah. That right there is super slick, guys. This is why you hear him called the mad scientist. That is nice. We can also make this taller by adding a coupler here and a tube in here for the guys with the tall gunnels or even a pontoon boat, we should be able to put it over. Okay, the side. okay. Again, nothing stuck in the side of the boat, nothing hanging over the side of the boat. Everything's clean and easy to take off so that it, it's not gonna be in the way when you go to put the boat on a trailer or hit a dock. Okay, I got a question for you, Mark. Uh, I have got a single unit on my telescoping uh, mount up front. My yeah, yeah, I remember my yeah, you got that. Yeah, yeah. But now I want to put a mapping unit on with it. So you want to change it to a double? So I'm going to change it to a double. Do I have to buy the whole? Nope. No. All our stuffs. Like I try to do everything as an add-on. So we can take the top plate that your gimbal mounts on on your telescoping mount. Take that off. We got the other parts you need, which are these parts right here. So you got your plate for your gimbal for your unit, a plate for the gimbal for your unit, and what we call our double plate. All you need is this piece, this piece, this piece. We can change it, even though this is on this mount, it's the same thing on the telescoping mount. We can change it over, put this on, you can go from a single to a double in a matter of minutes. Without having to buy a complete yep. separate setup. Yep. It's just an add-on. I'm trying to do as much as I can as an add-on. There's a lot of guys that buy, you know, they want live scope and then they decide, man, I need mapping too. It sure would be nice to have it up there. So we're trying to make everything as an add-on so that they don't have to buy the whole thing over again. They can just come back and buy what they need. We'll hook them up with that and away they go. Okay, man, that's awesome. That is very much awesome.
here's your finished product, guys. So we, everything comes in semi-truck, 12-foot bar. So then we have work orders with processes on how it's to be cut, what material it is, for what part it's for. So we've got a guy that runs the saw, we'll pull all of our inventory here, cut it, goes in the basket with a work order, goes up to the machine, and the parts get made. Bridges. This is the live sweeps. Yep. That's what this, this is. This is live sweep too. We got a. We're putting the bushings and the seals in them. We got an oil seal here. We got an O-ring in here. Everything's all watertight when we're done with it. Figuring out what font we want to use. I was looking for one for one that was finished. Here. Oh, there we go. And when they're finished, they're going to come out. Finished, they come out just like that right there. And guys, that's going to be our tour, and no more fitting place to end it than in the shipping area where that they uh, got their boxes to ship this stuff out. Mark, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to show us just exactly what was going on here and uh, how everything came together. Uh, it's pretty awesome the stuff you do here, man. Thank you. We appreciate it. We like to do everything we can, and we really enjoy when people tell us we got quality. There you go. We, we, we put everything we can into it. Yeah, well, that's awesome. Right here, American Made Company, right here in Kentucky. And guys, make sure you go over to his website. It's a uh, www.cornfieldcroppiegear.com www.cornfieldcroppie.com Get over there, check your stuff out. Uh, every order that comes in here, Mark's going to see. Somebody's here. Hear the doorbell. <laughs> we just had the doorbell go off. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. Got the guard dog on watch, guys. So. If you have not liked and subscribed, please do so. Go check Mark out over at cornfieldcrappie.com. Get your orders in. We'll see you on the waters, guys. Thanks.